Nothing's going to change, Willie. Everything will remain the same. It would be different if this man was from the slums. It would be different if this man still drove the same car he did in 1990. It would be different if this man was of a lower economic status. It would be different if this man was real and regular. People have failed to realize that no time in this history of our country that we have actually voted in someone as poor as the regular American. If me or you could have walked up there and became the President of the United States, if you and the guy next door to you could have became the President and Vice President of the country, somebody from nothing who still has a glimpse of nothing, who can still see nothing right there, if that person would have became President, then we would truly see change. But that person did not become president tonight. Yes, this person became the president and he happens to be as brown as we are. Yes, so what? That never ever made a difference. The only thing different about this election is the fact that we get to see history be made. Because I was told, Sergeant, that I would not get to see my grandkids live. I was also told that by the time that there'd be a black president in the United States of America, there'd be a hole in the planet big enough to fly a plane through the middle of the world. I was told this by black people, that in my lifetime I would never see what I've seen tonight. So after seeing the impossible, what is the outcome? It has come to my belief, and in my opinion, that nothing is going to become of this. If this man is set to set us free and give us all the reparations that America's owed to us, understand this, that would be stupid. That would be stupid for the, the keepers of this zoo to allow one of the primates to give away anything. It would have been in America's best interest for a white man to free the black people. So by making a black man the president of the United States in this day and age is just a cover-up for something more sinister or more even harder. They may just be putting this man in a position to take blame for all the downfalls in which we have coming. They may want to put this man in a position to actually look like a savior to get us corralled into some new world order. This man, on the other hand, may be genuine. He may actually try to do what he says he's trying to do. And then bureaucracy itself will bring him down. The fact that, no, you can't do that, you can't do that, will bring him down. The fact that we have a black president in a puppet, in a puppet position, proves nothing to me. I'm just glad I got to see this in my time. And for you, Sergeant Willie Pete, hopefully you'll get to see another one. Because I'll be long gone before I'll see another black president. And you'll be just getting gray. So, Sergeant Willie Pete, I appreciate you put this video out. Because it's pretty good. And the only thing that the black African American has to do now is think. A lot of people believe, since the president is black, that automatically life is going to be easier for every African American. Oh, Obama's the president. You can walk through, go straight to the front of the line. That shit's not going to happen. Oh, Obama's the president. Well, I know credit is fucked up. We're just going to give you full credit. That's not going to happen. Obama is a money man. And these people in power all have money. And what do the people of America and the people who control America have in common? The only thing that we actually have in common is that we're all human beings. And that's it. After that, there is nothing. So yes, good, Barack won, ye, whoopee, big whoop. A lot of people over the last few weeks have pointed out Barack Obama is not the first black leader of this country. But who cares? No one can see that, but all they can see is now there's a brother in charge. Ooh, we are the best on the basketball court. Ooh, we are the best in football. Ooh, we can even play some baseball. But can we do this? 
it wasn't just recently when a black man could be the quarterback of a football team. Even though Warren Moon was the first, Doug Williams was a great one. Now we have several black quarterbacks. We have several black uh, general managers. We have several black coaches. We don't have several black leaders. We have one black leader. And he shocked the world. Hopefully, the world itself will let this man stay alive until he can do his job. Hopefully, these idiots out there who are afraid of change won't take pot shots at this man. Hopefully, they will give him an opportunity to fail. Because when you're put in a position with all the chips and everything stacked against you during one of the hardest times on the planet, he has been put in position to fail. And everything that's going on wrong right now, they will blame on him. Because he is in position to take the fall. Let's hope he's not as dumb as they think he is. And he is as smart as we believe he can be. You have been tuned.